We got them with the boo boo. God, you probably saw that coming. Holy moly. Ooh, that was damage. In this new world video, I quickly want to go over my Blunderbuss build. This build is mainly made for a lot of damage and nuking a bunch of players. So let's take a look at everything, my gear sets, my attributes and so forth. You can see at the start there, I nuked quite a bit of players in gravity well. Well, how do I achieve all that damage? This build basically caps out at 44.1% in power cap just because of everything. So let's take a look. So for my headpiece, I went with a cheap set, Fire Lord's Great Horned Helmet. You can get this set from Imperium Forge, I believe. I've got two pieces of this, making it a bit cheaper. To do, I just rolled until I got health. And then Fire Harnessing Enchanted Ward is guaranteed, right? So definitely super good to get, super cheap. Also, notice my Rune Glass, Ignited rune glass right so i gain more fire attack damage so in total i gain about four percent from one piece four percent fire damage i went with the featherweight as well just to keep my equip load in light super good for light users right you gain extra armor and a bunch of things keeps you keeps you alive since you get that extra armor this one i put on fire harnessing as the last perk i wanted that damage as well also ignited rune glass keep that in mind for the gloves i also went heavy so heavy head heavy heavy gloves also same thing hellfire harnessing enchanted ward you're going to see this is my theme that i go for for the pants you need to go light right so you're probably going to have to craft this with the azov inductor i went enchanted ward fire harnessing and health if health is too expensive on your server mine was 50k you can also go shirking energy right it will help you or splitting grenades this will also help you but i do believe if you get the the set from imperium forts the last spots right you can just craft it with materia but try to go for health is probably the best but here you can go shirking energy if you don't have health then it's pretty good and then for the boots boots you're also going to probably need to craft since it needs to be a light piece i chose Net exhaust of net shot, fire harnessing, enchanted ward. So you can see everything goes towards fire damage, which is really important for the blunderbuss since the older ability does fire damage, right? So you can see I go I went with net shot, my only skill that I have. Since net shot is so nice, you just net shot people and basically you can auto attack them until they're dead if you're close enough, or at least you can catch up to them. Super good ability. For my parts, I you can just you can just take a look there. But for my resistances overall, you can see I'm going a pretty balanced, about 8 physical and 9 elemental for everything. Pretty balanced. I might switch this up in the future. Sometimes fire and slash does a little bit too much damage to me if they get close. We'll take a look at that in a minute. For my blunderbuss, I'm still torn between an opal, ignited opal, and just a split one. I do like it that my auto attack damage does quite a bit. But Opal might help me quite a bit with my skills. With a little bit more damage with my skills, right? Uh, well, more than a little bit. It should help quite a bit. But for the Blunderbuss, Deep River Blunderbuss, you can just farm this in Reek Water from Siren's Brood. Definitely a super good Blunderbuss. Flame Attunement, Enchanted, Guinea Empowered. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. I will probably go Pestilence if I ever get it. But you're going to lose out on that the empowered so you probably will do a little bit less burst but you'll reduce healing so you can probably just hot swap depending on your situation if there's a healer healer in arena or an opr that maybe there's too many healers then you can just swap it for my great axe commanding strikes you can just farm this one as well you can get taunting strikes pretty good if you have maelstrom since it got crit flame attunement kidney jacket I'll show you my combos in a minute, but you can see here it is, pretty decent, does a lot of damage, this is mostly utility, you're not going to just sit there and auto attack with this, you focus on your blunderbuss, you keep, you stick to your blunderbuss, and you pepper them with bullets. Hard rune, haven't upgraded this, upgraded this yet, this is just good all rounder, super good, since you're squishy, you can escape here with this, and you can heal up, I have well, frost damage is my biggest thing. Bows eat me alive. 
as well as muskets plus that spear is pretty op in most cases so make sure you're good stamina recovery health frost protection this i just farmed in elysium wilds could you guys see my blind brothers yeah you guys could see let's go to the ring the ring i just like crafted one with my seals eyes of crystal ring i found this in a dungeon right fire damage leeching hearty i can probably go burning if i custom craft my own one this will probably give me a little bit more damage i don't feel like the leeching does too much for me since blunderbuss pallets hit one by one and you don't get that much damage while healing back from it since there's i don't know it's just it's just weird with blunderbuss so yeah it does help but not like crazy amount at least for my earring i know this looks like a ring this is my earring i went healthy toast refreshing toast and regenerating if you do not like refreshing toast you can probably go something else here that you enjoy there's a couple of things that you can go but this is what what i went i just got lucky and got this so pretty decent for me let me go over my attributes quickly as well and then i show you a couple of things i try to keep in mind while fighting for my attributes if i pop a food i'll be 150 con right mandatory these days you're squishy you're going to need it intelligence still go 150 15 percent extra elemental damage super good and then here for for strength i just pumped the rest all into strength i wish i could hit 350 but i think the 150 elemental damage is way better than 10 percent extra base increase damage to abilities since this counts towards everything right even your blunderbuss abilities so super nice so i just went for that if i could hit this i'm going to probably give up con but there's no way I'm giving up more con. Some some interesting things here. You get some damage to light and heavy attacks. Physical damage to increase. Stamina regenerate while exhausted. I am not the best player. So ex getting exhausted it happens to me a lot. So this helps quite a bit. And then more damage on stun people. Super, super good. And that's what I enjoy. The other is like whatever. You know, not, not too good. For the intelligence tree, you also get like increase like auto attack elemental things that's why i went with the fire gem here just because i like my auto attacks to do a little bit more damage but obviously your your abilities suffer you don't get that opal extra damage so you can choose either opal or this gem i should taste this eventually but i'm a little bit busy so yeah you can you can taste it on your own but i'll probably will eventually make a video about it so there there we go there's the attributes for my blunderbuss mastery let's take a look here this is usually what i run i did i can probably go reload ramp but uh, it's not not needed i like to have a little bit more stamina since you need to kite a lot with this build if you get caught you're dead so you need to kite a bit so i trying out the stamina pallets but this is overall what i go i like my auto attacks doing more damage right since i'm not too focused on my abilities sure my abilities is there and i do try to get everybody in splitting grenades with a graph well since if you read this you can see deal 25 percent increased damage to targets greater than 50 percent health so i always try to catch somebody in a graph well maybe i'll net shot them auto and then i'll see if they start dodging i'll graph well and i'll throw my nades in there and then it's basically a guaranteed super burst that you can get and then you obviously just finish them off with a nice click and sharp no blast so what's my combo usually usually let's say this box is somebody i'll try to net shot them and if they start dodging and things i'll throw a grab well i'll split the grenades into them this, this should beat the shit out of them and then you can just auto and click this should do the most damage and you should be decent there's another combo i like to do if my things go off cooldown see net shot is already up even after that the cooldown on it is kind of insane if you ask me I don't even have double down but the cooldown 19 seconds not too bad you've got like so much utility still but let's say somebody is approaching me and they're gonna 1v1 me in combat right i can double pop nades and i can maelstrom to keep them in place so they can't dodge out of the nades this is usually what i try to go for maelstrom is really good for keeping players in place and if they jump on you, you can just do it as well a nice little burst sometimes i'll even grab well spitting grenades jump and maelstrom into it so that i can keep them in place super super good 
I'll really enjoy it. Some people go rip on the Great X. I still like my Wildstrom. I forgot about my Great X Mastery. Let's quickly take a look. It's not, it's like a, like, just a random one here. You can see this is my Great X Mastery. Nothing too complicated. Just focus on damage mostly. You'll probably cap way over in power cap with this one. Above 50, like 60 something. So yeah, just be prepared for this. This does do a little bit of damage. And you'll see I auto attack sometimes with this if a player is low. But I mostly focus on my blunderbuss. Let's dive into some gameplay. I'm not the best player. But you can see even a disabled person can play with this build. Okay, Mr. Spears and Shields. Do your job and I'll do mine. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, the, it's the same guy with the bow and things. I see. God, you probably saw that coming. Holy moly. Ooh, that was damage. I don't think I did everything, but I sure helped. I sure... I sure facilitated the abuse. A little bit. Damn. I mean, clip it, ship it. They feel five gone. They do feel like five gone. There we go. Oh, I think they hit the other guy still alive. The maids. You can be lucky there's a side shower between me and you. Because I will have you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Or am I? You will have my day. Damn, unfair. I mean, they're five gone. I mean... Height? Do something. Move your feet. You have five con, you need to be careful. You need to be healed. What server are you playing on? Bari? Can I make, can I put this in my build video? Would it be okay? I want a build video. I want to do it. Ah. Let's just get through here, somehow. I got his body. We got sick. Holy moly, we got 90k damage. 